In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to package your SDK files that you edited in the previous tutorials and send them locally to your Roku player. Let's get started. In my directory, I have my Roku LT folder, which is the name of the device that I'm using. Inside my video player, I have an archive file, which I'm going to delete. I'm going to show you how to create that zip file. So I'm going to just move that to the trash. So I have my images folder manifest file and my source folder. You may have noticed that some things have changed. I've deleted the XML folder, I've deleted the readme file text, and I've also deleted the artworks folder. Really didn't need those. These are the three most important things that will get your channel up and running. I'm going to manually select them holding down the command key on Mac. On Windows you will hold down the control key. I'm going to right click I'm going to compress these. If you notice here we have an archive uh, dot zip file. You can leave this the way it is or you can change it. I'm going to leave it the way it is. So now that we have this archive with all our images zipped together and uh, packet files, I'm going to send this directly to the Roku player. Let's go to our development application installer. You'll notice to see the, the IP address there which we obtained in an earlier tutorial. I'm going to browse and find my archive. There it is. I'm going to hit open and I'm going to install it. You'll notice on the right side of your screen the application is going to install directly on the device and once it's installed it's going to automatically load the channel. As you can see now my channel is now loaded. Take notice of the graphics that have changed. In the previous tutorial I showed you the default images. They were the TED logos. I've changed those logos to brand my particular channel. And here it is. So if we go through, look at the top, you see my logo. There is the text from within the Mine XML file. And there you have it. There is the description, the duration, and it's ready to play. Display it. It's loading from the CDN. And there you have it. The file is now playing. You've just now installed an application and it's functional. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to now load this to Roku.com and share this with everyone.